So this is the um, the monastery. They made they, look. They made a prison out of it. Well, I mean, a, a cell is a cell, eh? And uh, there's a little church with a lot of uh, with a lot of octagons in it. Uh, so look at the wall. So this is where the New World Order, where it really where it really started. You know, Ministry of Justice. So unbelievable where the New World Order started. They made a huge prison out of it. You know, it's incredible. And uh, all these guys here. And uh, so this is where it started. It was Bernard de, uh, de Clairvaux. Bernard de Clairvaux. He's a saint. And uh, he said, "Well, it's it's not a problem. You know, a monk can be a monk can be a uh, he can he, he he can have a sword. He can kill people. That's that's no problem at all." And uh, so the second, third, fourth sons of the aristocracy, they can come in my monastery. So this is uh, l'abbaye de, de Clairvaux. Claire, it means clear. Vaux, it means uh, the cow. So there we get back to Apis, which is the, uh, like the advanced personal information system, which is the, uh, the bull actually. The bull of the, um, the, the symbol of defense of uh, ancient Egypt. And uh, so, well, let's have a look then. So this is what it looks like from the inside. And here were thousands of Templars sleeping here. And uh, this is quite interesting here. This is, this is the coat of arms. So it's, um, it's like a divided heart, you know. The, on the one side the first born son and the other side the second, third, fourth born son. Divided aristocracy, and uh, well, actually, I have to go in here and I have to, you know, show my passport and go into the prison. So um, I don't really feel like it. So I take some pictures from here. But what is important, actually, is the uh, is the information. And the information is that it all started here. The, uh, the New World Order. So this is where they were sleeping. I don't have to go in here. I don't really feel like it. So this is the bloke, Bernard de, de Clairvaux. Saint Bernard. And he was a saint. He said, well, you, you can carry a, a weapon and kill people. It's the same like, you know, like saying that, you know, that Obama, you get the, the Nobel Peace, Peace Prize and all that. That's what they call the saints. The one who kills the most, they're the biggest saints. They already got prisons here in those times, yeah? So, so it says a little bit about this, about this guy. It's from 11.15. He said, well, you can carry a sword and kill people. Nice bloke, isn't it? And this is where they were sleeping. So here's what the New World Order, where it all started. Yeah. And then they went to Switzerland, then America, and they founded France, now the whole world. So that's why the Nazis, you know, and the, uh, the church, they're all together. The SS, that's, that's Templar stuff, isn't it? It's all the same stuff. So there you can see the old prison cells. And here's the new, it's all a prison. The whole monastery is a prison. What a shame. Now you see that the church and the, uh, the new world order, the police, the army, it's all one thing. The religion has, has been taken in hostage by the, uh, by the aristocracy. The aristocracy have always been together with the religion, you know. Oh, what a shame. So here it says, L'Abbaye de Clairvaux. So it's the entrance of the prison and the entrance of the, of the monastery. 
monastery in English. So it's an actual French prison. See the lamps here, the guy sitting with the rifles, it's called Le Mirador. Mirador. You see the walls there? Oh man. Well anyway, all these poor monks, all the poor Europeans had to write all the things for the aristocracy. All the books, you know, they were prisoners anyway. What is it? Cobras or what? Bloody reptilians. And uh yeah. So that's still the old prison probably. Even Joan of Arc was here. Well, that's a good help, you know, to jump out and <laughs> to jump down from the wall. Or maybe the lorry here. That's a good help. You don't have to jump at all. <laughs> They're the lords. They're the Europeans in prison and Arabs and blacks and the rest. And you see, that's why there's a, a temple next to the, uh, the prison and the. Uh, the monastery. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all, you know, I told you, they are the Templars because a monastery is a temple of God. It's all related. Aristocracy, religion, you know, it's all pharaohs, all the same thing. So, in fact, the old world order with the kings and queens that started in France and the New World Order, it started in France, exactly here. It all started in France. That's why French is still is the diplomatic language of the world. That's why there's Lafayette. That's where it all started. Well, not, it's not the French people who are Frankish or Germanic or Celt. It is the aristocracy of Pharaoh. So Saint Bernard he was the, uh, the son of a nobleman. He was even born in a castle. And uh, he was not happy at all, you know. They just gave him a, a fucking monastery, like, you know. He wanted to have a castle with all the fun and all of it. And uh, so it was quite legal, you know, for noblemen or for pharaohs or the descendants to be in a monastery. But it was not legal, you know, to con, uh, to, to to lead a conspiracy against the uh, the firstborn son, to conspire. Uh, that was that was not legal at all, but they did, and this is what became the new world order. Anyway, it all belongs to them, yeah. It all belongs to Pharaoh, and it still does. That's why there's a prison today. You know, it's not a high security prison. There's nobody in here. It's a low wall, you know, it's just for them drunk driving probably, beat your, your, your wife or whatever. New World Order, out of the French aristocracy, Lafayette. Like here, here you can see the other end of the Imans uh, monastery. I tell you folks, there's no Zionists, no Jews to be seen. It's all the aristocracy. And they send their second, third and fourth sons either to wage war or either to go into a monastery and then they topple the king with the Templar boys. And this is the new world order today. There might be Jews but they're no real Jews. They come out of the pharaohs just as all these kings and queens. So uh, I don't give a rat's ass about any Zionists or Jews, you know. They're just dumbasses just like we are. But the... Uh, the real, uh, the real enemy is this: the aristocracy, and all the monasteries. They all come out of the mon of the out of the aristocracy. That's why you see Obama, you know, you know, almost, almost showing his ass, you know, and kneeling deep in front of the Pope, and they're all hoping for a, geez, for, for Christ's sake, a uh, a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh boy, there hasn't been passing by anybody for three hours now. It's bloody hot here. Oh. Well, next to that monastery prison where the Templars started, I found this really gorgeous little river here. 
really nice cold water I drank the water I always drink water from this sort of little rivers you know no problem fantastic well, there it is from the other side beginning uh, the monastery of Clairvaux beginning of the new world order where the they invited the second, third and fourth sons of the aristocracy who said we are in a temple of God, a monastery is a temple of God and uh, we are the Templars, now it's a prison, most of it. Same thing, it's our lords, our masters from Egypt, from the pyramid.